Let's go flying. I don't want to vacuum your carpet, so I've been paving the way for robots to connect with humans in a new way. Now has been uh, involved in very different aspects in education, even outside of the classroom. The students try, they fail, <laughs> as, we, as we all do. Um, they try again, they solve problems. Hey, I found it. The problem I think we have is the classroom still the same classroom we've had for hundreds of years, pretty much. Uh, and we do still work the way we work. Class full of kids, they're all told what to do and they all get on and do it. I need to put children in a position where they can go on and do things that maybe I can only dream of. That said to me, awe and wonder. How do you keep that passion going? How do you keep a real love of learning? Something that might be impactful for students and to engage them in their learning is fantastic. But I think just putting robots in classrooms doesn't really do a great deal. I mean. The teacher is the best thing you can possibly have in a classroom. So if the teacher is able to use that robot to make that lesson more engaging or to bring students to a subject they wouldn't ordinarily have been involved in, then brilliant. Good classrooms are ones where children ask questions. The how and the why and the, and the what if. Did I ever stand in a classroom and children engage me in deep conversations and I stood there thinking, oh God, this isn't on the exam, this isn't on the exam. I'll be honest. Sometimes I did, and I shouldn't. I should have the confidence to develop passionate, independent, resilient learners. I come with my own software and I'm fully programmable. My favourite question of the day, one of the students, a little lad, went up to an Ofsted inspector and said, are you one of the robots? <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, that's a good question to end on. He scores. The crowd goes wild.